What's up vape fam? Today we're taking a look at the Stair Pure tank from Freemax. Uh, these tanks were given to me by Freemax for the purpose of this review. They sent me both the black and the silver so we will look at both of them. Uh, it is a top airflow tank. It is a replaceable coil style tank and it uses this ceramic sheathing over the coil which you'll see now uh, as we go up close for the breakdown to see what makes it vape. Alright guys, here we are up close with the Stair Pure Tank from Freemax. This is the packaging it comes in. Uh, there is a design of the airflow system right there on the back. The airflow system is really, really nice on this and I'll show you when we break it down. And a little bit of information about it there on the bottom. Um, other than that, it's this nice little angled box. Sits upright like so. Uh, take this tape off. Now I do have the silver and the black one, so I'll show you the finish on both, but we will be taking apart this silver one. So here is the silver one. It does come with two coils. The .25 is in the tank and the .5 is right here. Now you can see the coil looks a little bit different. They have this ceramic sheath around the outside. It helps, to, uh, helps keep the heat out of the tank, and I have ripped one of these off just to see if it would make a difference. Um, it does not a tremendous difference but there is a definite noticeable difference in temperature. Um, there is the bottom of it like so. This nice polished ring around it and the wattage ratings are on the coils themselves which is always a plus. This one is 20 to 50 watts on the 0.5 coil. Set that aside. Whoops. Pull the tank out for a second and we will pull this up and out. Underneath of here, you do have a foam block with an extra piece of glass in it. So there is an extra piece of glass. There are O rings in this baggie here. And there is a little instruction booklet on how it all works um, the breakdown of the tank, the coils, the top fill system, the airflow picture again, uh, and just some information in general about replacement parts, so on and so forth. Here is the tank. Now, the tank, let me grab the black one real quick. Now, these tanks here have a great finish on them. Just great. I mean the, the black one especially it has this glossy black to it. Uh, beautiful to look at, beautiful to hold and use. Uh, the, the finish on them is top notch. Just absolutely top notch. So definitely well done there. Um, setting aside the black one for a second, we will start at the top. You have your drip tip and it is obviously a standard 510 drip tip so you can swap it out you do have this piece here like so that sits on it uh, this is part of the top cap so this will remain there so if you want to use your own drip tip you do have to take that into account this top fill this unscrews it's threaded really nicely everything comes apart really easy uh, no hang ups I don't feel any burrs on any of it next you have the well, actually, let's take the bottom off. This will make it a little bit easier. So on the bottom, you have your coil, and you have, if you can see down in there, the airflow slots underneath the coil, because the airflow comes down through this top chimney, around the sides here. See that area around the chimney there? Airflow comes down through there, down through the chimney, down underneath the coil, and up through the center. So it works airflow wise much like a my phone just went off. Much like a bottom airflow system does. But with the distinct benefit of actually being a top airflow system to prevent leaking issues and things like that. There's the bottom. It does have a slightly protruding 510 pin, but I would not probably recommend that for a hybrid mod. I don't know, it's close. It's close to what I would uh, you're gonna have to use your best judgment on it. Taking apart the rest of the tank. Now this can be tricky sometimes. Give me a second. There we go. Got it. Great. Just 
So here you have your uh, the top cap portion of it with the airflow in it. Uh, you can see here how the airflow comes through the holes on the inside there, inside of the chimney area. These are your fill port. This is a gasket right here. And then you have the chimney itself. Now, as far as I can tell, this is all one piece. I don't believe any of it comes apart. No, it definitely does not come apart. So the airflow travels down on the outside area here. Comes all the way down through these airflow holes here, down underneath the coil. So this does all come apart for cleaning. You can see these two giant wicking holes here. You've got four wicking holes on the coil that are a good size. I've had zero issues with wicking. It keeps up with just about everything I throw at it. I, th I put 100 watts to the 70 watt max coil and it kept up no problem, no burning, no dry hits, no nothing. Um, there is... This is what I want to find right here. So in the instructions it says long lifespan provides up to 60,000 inhales based on two second puffs. 60,000 inhales. Um, I've never counted my inhales, but that sounds like a lot. And it is a 4 milliliter capacity as well. Um, right there. 60,000 inhales. Uh, 60,000 really seems like a lot. I'd, I've been running these coils for a little bit. I haven't really noticed any degradation in flavor. It hasn't worn out at all. Um, it took a little bit longer to break in than I expected. Uh, which was surprising. It took almost like a full day to get a good break in on them. But they've been working great ever since. Obviously I have not used the silver one. Um, I've been using the black one. Uh, assembling this is easy. You just put the glass back on. Well, hold on a second here. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to put the glass on first? No, we want to put the chimney on first. So the coil goes in. Chimney goes on. Again, the threads, the build, the fit and finish on this is just fantastic. And then you put the glass on. Now, it doesn't seat in. It just kind of sits on the gasket. Um, and then you put the top cap on. Screws together. Sandwiches that piece of glass in between. I've had no leaking issues with it. I've had great performance out of it. And then the top cap. After that, it's just your drip tip. Man, I really love these uh, pre-built coil tanks. They're really easy to take apart, put back together. Um, and there you have it. So we will go back up top, we'll talk about it, and we'll vape on it. Well, we'll vape on the black one. But... All right, guys, that was the up close and breakdown with the Stair Pure Tank uh, by Freemax. Again, they sent me these for this review. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, this tank is just amazing for flavor. It honestly, honestly is. Uh, they've got this description on the back that says something about it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, emphasis on pure flavor. And a lot of times it's hype, but this one, I mean, it is very, very flavor-focused tank. It tastes phenomenal. Uh, this is probably going to be my new go-to tank. Um, the vapor production is good. It's not like a cloud chasing tank by any means. Uh, the way the airflow works lends a lot to the flavor because instead of just, with a lot of the top flow tanks that come in, they come down and they skim across the top of the coil. And <clears throat> that really kind of kills the flavor because you're not pulling the vapor up through the coil. This one goes all the way down underneath the coil, comes up through the center. Uh, so you get the top airflow function, which a lot of companies are going to because it's harder to leak, so on and so forth. And uh, you get the flavor from like a bottom airflow design because it's coming up through that coil. Uh, the fit and finish, the building on this is top notch. It is really, really nice. The feel of it, the this black finish on it is gorgeous. It is an amazing looking little tank. Um, it is either a 24 and a half or 25 millimeter tank, so it's a little bit on the large side size. Um, Holds a good amount of juice. I believe it was five milliliters. Uh, we looked at it there a minute ago. Um, but yeah, the performance out of this thing has been great. Now the the coils, you have your 70 watt max and your 50 watt max coil. 
Um, I've been enjoying the 0.25 coil, the 70 watt max coil. Um, I have actually taken it over 70 watts. I usually like to play around with coils and see what the real window is on them. Um, I've had it up to 100 and it still just worked fine. It wicked perfectly well. There were no dry hits. There was no burning taste. Uh, the performance was still great. The flavor was still there. So I think they may have been a little bit, uh, a little bit reserved on their wattage rating. It could, it could take a little bit more than 70 for sure. Um, again, this tank has just been great. Uh, if you want to run your own drip tip, you can obviously, but you will have this little bit here, uh, just that little stem that sticks up. So your drip tip will be sitting on top of that. Something to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> I will link to the Freemax website where you can get this uh, because they were the ones who provided it for me. Again, the, the build quality, the fit and finish, the flavor output on it, all just top notch and I have zero complaints about this tank. Zero. I mean everything assembles easily, everything comes apart easily. Um, their top airflow design where it comes up through the coil is perfect. Uh, it is a little bit tight especially considering these airflow holes are huge but that happens a lot with top airflow tanks because they try to you basically get half the chimney volume so it's got to come down on the outside of the chimney and it's got to go up through the center of the chimney so it does tighten up the airflow a little bit but it's still not bad it's still more open than a lot of the top airflow tanks are um, more so than the support was maybe less so than the TFMT I'd have to compare directly to it's probably it's probably close to the same but density flavor fantastic vapor output is good again it's not a cloud chucking tank you're not going to go in cloud comps with it um, the pin protrudes ever so slightly so uh, I personally would not recommend it for hybrid mods and things like that but you gotta use your best judgment on it. It does protrude slightly, so technically it could be used for it. I'm gonna take this off and show you once again. It does protrude slightly, but it's going to really depend on how new your batteries are, whether or not you've uh, caved in the top of the battery through usage or anything like that. So again, use your best judgment, but I personally would not recommend it. Uh, but again, with a brand new battery uh, and knowledge of what you're doing, yeah, you could probably do it. Um, so, all in all, guys, I really hope you found this video helpful. Uh, like, subscribe, it helps me out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything I didn't address, leave it in the uh, comment section, or the description. <laughs> leave it in the comments down below, and I will do my best to get to it. Um, like always, I hope to see you guys again soon. Till next time, suck, blow, and keep on vaping.